In 1933, a virus came to Baghdad through dust. Iraq, Baghdad, every now and then they got dust, dust like powder. They hang bla uh, wet blankets on the windows, on the doors, and still powder comes in. And that time hit about 7,000 and 700 and something eyes. Some one eye, someone like me, two eyes. And at that, in those days, you know, there were no antibiotics. They used to in give us injections, uh, milk. And this virus, it hit, in two hours, the eyes were full of pus, just like this. In one hour, the pus was out, finished. I was born in a Christian, born born again Christian family. My father, my mother, they were very, very strong believers, very conservative. But when my father died, you know, devil started talking in my ears. I became atheist. So I took my violin and, as I said, went to play in nightclubs for the belly dancers, drinking, smoking, beating. I was terrible. The, if anybody said anything wrong to me, I, don't, I made his nose fly. But it's very long. I was with those, one, those belly dancers in Beirut. God, even though I was away from him, but God was after me. Jesus was after me. Holy Spirit was all the time after me. With those belly dancers, one night I was in a dance party. I drank too much and mixed whiskey, brandy, and, and I became so drunken, I was out of conscience. They pulled me, dragged me out into a very, very cold weather. I got bad cold. These ladies took me to a hospital. God led them to a hosp Christian hospital. In that hospital, I was three days unconscious. I didn't hear anything, I didn't lit anyway. The third day I noticed a man who could see a little was coming to the people and telling them to Jesus, about Jesus, witnessing them. And I felt he was coming to me. I said in my mind, okay, you come to me, I'll give you a good lesson. He said to me, hello, Sonny. I said, I didn't say hello, I said, what do you want? He said, how are you? He said, how are you? I said, what has to do with you then? He said, how are you with Jesus? I said, with Jesus? Are you talking about that criminal? If he's the son of God, who's God's wife? Tell me. Anyway, the man knelt on the floor and prayed for me. He got up. He wanted to kiss me. I hit him on both cheeks. And he went, I said, don't come back to me again, you stupid man. Next day, he came straight to me. He knelt on the floor, prayed for me. I was touched. He got up and kissed me. I didn't slap him. And when he went out, I said, don't come back, OK? Not like yesterday. Don't come back. Hey, you stupid man. No, today I said, don't come back, OK? The third day, he came straight. I said, why you are coming to me? He said, don't say why. Ask me what makes you to come to me. I said, all right, what makes you to come to me? He said, the first day I prayed to you, I came to you. I went home back. And I was praying, God, the Holy Spirit spoke to me, said, this man is an empty vessel. I want him from you. I want him from you. Don't give up. Go on, go on to him again. When he said that, 
my tears ran down and I was in a terrible fever. I went out of my bed and jumped on the floor. I was shouting, Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. The man came and put his hands on my head and rebuked the devil, the fever. He said, in Jesus' name, leave this fever. I felt electricity went through the down from my feet to the leg. I became very strong right away. I got up and started jumping. I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved. The nurses came and put me on the bed and they called the doctor. They, they were deceived. Doctors were born again Christian. They asked me, they said, yes, boy. Yes, sonny, you are saved. You must can leave the hospital now. And I was supposed to stay there one month. Three days, I came back. I knocked the door. My mother came out, who was praying for me all the time. Praying for me all the time. I said, Ma, I'm saved, I'm saved. She threw herself on the knees in the street and shouted, Lord, thank you. Thank you for our Lord, thank you. And I went in. Then the members of my orchestra, three or four of them came. They said, Albert, you were in Beirut. Did you bring with you some rock and roll, some music, some zambas? I said, brought, I brought some music. Oh, good. I said to my mom, Mom, go and get me that book. When they saw it was a hymn book, they said, Albert, did you lose your brain? Are you mad? I said, no. My brain was lost. I was mad. I was crazy. I was criminal. Now I am healed. This blind man went around preaching. I will say alone, but I was not alone. We were four, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and myself. Here is Matthew. Here is Proverbs. Here is Isaiah. Every verse of the Bible is a precious feeding food for me. Every verse. Because the Bible says every scripture, all scripture. Pharisees named Nicodemus. Uh, ruler of the Jews. My song, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. This is my song, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, our Lord is great. Our Lord is loving. Our Lord is merciful. Our Lord is kind. Our Lord is forgiving. Our God is loving. He loves all people. He loves all nations. He loves everybody. He loves the blind people. He loves the sighted people. He loves the lame people. He loves everybody.